Sheet number four is the thermal mass calculator. It's important to know that this calculator is just based on rules of thumb for good passive solar design. Therefore, the thermal mass, therefore, the quantity of thermal mass that this sheet recommends is only a starting place. The way the calculator works is it takes a southern glazing area, and typically we choose the largest glazing area that you have to the south. However, you could take an aggregate glazing area of all the, the windows that are facing to the south if you chose. It takes a selection by the user with regards to what type of thermal mass they're going to use, the thickness of that thermal mass, and then it provides you with a volume and an area as well as a mass. This is a very simple calculator, and if you're going to be building a large-scale commercial greenhouse, you'll want to have a sophisticated thermodynamic transient model completed for your particular greenhouse. You can use this for larger greenhouses, but again, it is just a starting point. So step number one is we need to choose our southern glazing area. So what we do is we go back to our energy consumption model. We're going to go to our glazing surface losses, and I'm going to choose the largest glazing surface right here, which is the primary aperture facing to the south. And we chose it as 894 square feet. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put in 894 square feet. I'm then going to choose my thermal mass. And you'll notice we have a selection of different types of thermal mass, everything from aluminum, brick, cast iron, concrete, ethylene glycol water mix, which is a liquid thermal mass that will not freeze, fire clay, granite, rock, which would likely be freely available on most sites, and just standard water. So I'm going to choose concrete. If you're using natural building materials like cob, concrete would be the closest thing. And I'm going to assume that I have a 10 inch thick thermal mass on the back, which is telling me that I have to have 506 square feet of thermal mass which is equivalent to 3,153 gallons. If I do not have 506 square feet of area for the thermal mass, in other words, a vertical slab, then I can increase the thickness of that thermal mass to something thicker. So essentially, right now, if I chose concrete or cob as my thermal mass, and I wanted to make a cob wall somewhere in the greenhouse that was 24 inches thick, I would need 211 square feet of cob. This is equivalent to 30.3 metric tons, and this is going to store an immense amount of thermal energy in our greenhouse, which is going to help it to stay warm during those cold evenings. I encourage you to try different mass elements within your greenhouse and see what you come up with. If you have any questions regarding this particular part of the tool, make sure you get in touch. This completes number four thermal mass calculator. If you're looking to design your own passive solar greenhouse and want help in choosing our value for your walls, a glazing material, the amount of heat or size of heater required to heat the greenhouse, your lighting system, thermal mass calculation, as well as designing a subterranean heating and cooling system, you will find that this tool makes passive solar greenhouse design infinitely easier. These videos will show you how to use the tool and if you're interested in purchasing the tool for your own passive solar greenhouse design, you can find information on how to purchase the tool at Small Farm Academy in the link below.